Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the collaboration, how we can collaborate our work with someone. So uh, I'm starting the long series about uh, collaboration work and we will starting right now from the project browser. How we can organize our work with someone, with our colleagues, friends, doesn't matter how we can work in one file, how we can share our work and how we can um, work with someone who have different style to working. So today I will show you how you can do that. Believe me, I'm working with the architects every day and every day I'm doing the same thing, just organizing architects work because I'm working like BIM manager. Let's get start. Let's now back to the Revit. I will create the new template. Let's create, I mean, new um, new project with the some standard Revit template. You will see the difference between the standard one and my one. Let's see the project browser right now. As you can see, the project browser now have really nice organizing, like we are organizing by floor, ceiling, elevation, and other families of our views. But this is working only when you are working alone in this project. Let's say you're working with someone. How you will manage your views and his views? Of course, you can just right click and writing like level one, uh, Nicole, let's say, who do not, don't know this is my name. Uh, you can do it like that and the, you can copy it. Let's copy, duplicate the view. And after that, the second one, you will say, uh, this one will be not Nico, this one will be like a mic. So you can work like that, why not? But as you can see, this is not so useful. Uh, let's go back to the my template of your organizing and you will see the my project browser, it's more organized because here is the mic. Let's open up, here is, as you can see, my floor. Oh my God, he should change the name of that. Let's do that like MK, MK, this is short name of his name. Uh, it's like a code, nothing else. And here, for example, his section, and he do, should do the same thing. He should make like this one, MK, and now we will understand this, we use his one, this, we use only my one, as you can see, MK, levels, and on and on. Uh, let's say uh, we might want to create the one new section. And I will show you the difference. Here, he, he want to create the section here. Why not? As you can see now, his section under the nothing. Let's find his section. And now we will change here the view owner, as you can see. And he will change it to the mic. Let's change it to the mic. As you can see, this is following up now to the, under the mic. This is one thing. And here is the his section. But if I will go to the my views, for example, my floor plan line, right? I not will see his sections. This is the reason. I can see only my section and only my elevations. So it doesn't making me mistake what this section, what I want to do that. No, Mike can see only his sections. I can see only my sections. And that's why this is, uh, this more organizing our work and we not doing any mistakes. So I think enough talking, enough explaining. I will show you how you can do that and how you can organize. But we will do these things on our new Revit file, on our new Revit project right here. First, we want to create owner views. Let's do that. So how you can create the owner views? As you can see on my uh, template, which I get from the Afterdesk, uh, this is original one, as you can see, we don't have any owner views on this my properties. So how we can, can create it? Actually, it's pretty easy. You can create any parameters uh, here in your project, into your project. So how you can do that? Just go to the manage. Here you will find the uh, project parameters. So the project parameters, it's only working for the current project. It's not will uh, work for the other one project. So we will create only for the current project. Let's create the new one and we will add new one. So we will call it owner, owner view. Let's do that. Owner view. 
Okay, this nice. We will uh, leave it like instance one because we want to see it uh, on these uh, properties right here, not under the edit type. So if you want to put it uh, under the edit type and you don't want to make it a uh, unique one, so you will use the type one. If you want to make it uh, like unique one, you will make the in instance. So and what we need here, we need the views. Oh, sorry, views, and we need the shadows. Let's find it here the shadows. Where is our shadows? And here. So now you can see we're creating the new parameter only for the views and only for the shadows. So it will be working only for these two parameters. After that, we will change our type parameter from the length to the text because this is only text parameter. And you will change it to the values can vary by group. So because we want to create the group of these parameters uh, here the we will change the group parameter i want to change the group parameter to constrain ways ways to constrain uh -huh, this is constrain okay we will leave it like as it is so done we created the new parameter let's say okay and let's say okay again and what we get right now if you will see on the right on the right side on your screen here owner the view you can see constraint view parameter view owner view so we did it. Now we have the new parameter owner view. This is pretty cool. So uh, and now we can use this parameter to create something interesting on the left side. And let's do that. Now the first rule. Here is my view of the owner the mic. Let's write here the under the owner view. I will write the star and I will write the mic. Mic. Okay, here is my name, the name of the mic, and nothing changed. And the second view, it will be under the Nico. Let's make it the same thing, star and Nico. Okay, done. As you can see, nothing changed because the our um, settings of our um, project browser it's not allow now our settings. So how we can create it? Just right click here and find project uh, browser organize. And here, as you can see, we are using now all. Let's create the new rule. And we call it like a um, view owner. So the same name because we now will understand this is rule. It's uh, working with our the new parameter view owner. Let's say OK. And now uh, Revit asking us to create the rule how we can organize everything. Let's go to the grouping because I don't want to filter everything. I anything I need just group the and sorting what I have right now on the, my project browser. First, we will sort by the owner view. So by the names, uh, let's find our the new parameter uh, view view name owner view. Mm -hmm. Here is the name, and the second one I wanna uh, sort by the family. Actually, the floor plan, sailing plan, elevation. This is a family. So let's find the family. Where is the family? Family is here. And let's say okay, nothing else. And don't forget, we should uh, making checkbox box here the on so now we are using this rule to organize our project browser let's say okay and what you can see now Mike and Nico and other uh, plans and floor plans and everything what doesn't have any view owner will you will find under these symbols so once you will uh, make here the owner view you just can open up it for example this is by Mike you will see now this view going to the mic and let's see the let's say the side view we want to put under the Nico and you will see it's going to the under the Nico so this is the uh, simplest way how you can organize it and now I will show you more how you can more uh, more deeply organize it and how you can use the name uh, to um, making everything rules works Okay, this is pretty awesome when we can do everything uh, just manually, but it's really spending the time uh, because uh, we need also create the filters. Mm, the reason why, because if I will create now, for example, some section, uh, the mic or Nico will see the my sections. So let's create some section and I will show you what the reason why. Here is the my section, as you can see, and this section will be under the mic, let's say. Uh, let's put it under the mic. Uh, I will write here the mic, it's not a problem. Okay, so this view under the mic. And if I will go to the level 2, 
uh, he, let's create the what is the my uh, okay here's the my level one and I will if I will select you can see this is under the mic let's copy this view I will just duplicate it as you can see the totally same but this view will go to the under the Nico so two same views for example this is the same level uh, but working to add different people so don't forget here to write the different name because in Revit you cannot create two views with same names and that's why I'm using the prefix, uh, prefix like uh, Nico or Mike so by this way you can create as many views as you want so uh, oh, you cannot change it so, yes I know let's do the here the Nico and let's say OK and as you can see here is the level one we already have and let's create the it's like new okay as you can see now uh, Mike level one we have this section and Nico we have this section but uh, I, I don't wanna see the Mike uh, sections on my views how we can do that let's go to the uh, view template and let's create the new template we will create now uh, our own template so how can we, how we can do that architecture plan and let's duplicate it and we call it by my name don't forget use always the same naming type like I'm doing okay now we have my own um, view template and let's uh, make this work we will go to the under the filters and I will create the new filter let's add the type new one and I will create the new filter and I will call it again by my name again uh, here I need what I need I wanna uh, find here the sections where is the my sections here is the my sections and elevations these two things what I don't wanna see on my views I wanna see only my section and elevations okay here's elevations and I want here find uh, owner view where is the my owner view okay and here I wanna use doesn't not equal and here I will write Nico as you can see this is really simple and let's say okay let's use this now filter and let's uncheck visibility if the sum view not equal to the Nico I no wanna see this is on my view as simple as that let's say okay let's say okay and as you can see I can I not no, cannot see now my section if I will go back to the mic I can see this section but if I will go back to the Nico I cannot see this section this is pretty cool and one thing more let's go back to the our view template and now I will say this owner view should be always the Nico so if I will use now this view template it always will give the owner view the Nico and will um, apply the my filter so let's say we creating the new view plan let's create the new view plan let's even duplicate this one again we will duplicate it and as you can see we get here the new plan and if I will just apply my uh, my uh, view template as you can see it always will go where I want and it's already applied my filter it's already on under the my name so as you can see by these few things what I show you today you can organize your work more deeply and you can create as many people as you want and you not really have uh, some mm, like anarchy in your project so if you're interested in this topic don't forget to leave the comment uh, maybe next time i will do the big stream how you can organize more deeply and i will show you some tricks and tips how we can do it more faster and i will show you on the next tutorial about the naming because naming this is really really huge topic and you should you should follow it for now it's finished and thank you guys for watching and see you next time